What is up guys, back with another video. Today I want to go over on how to keep your computer clean with CC Cleaner. CC Cleaner is a very free software for you to download. It's amazing software. It does a whole bunch of things that you guys don't even know that it even does. So I'm going to go ahead and load it up. Now a lot of the, a lot of the features are free, but if you want pro features like monitor your PC, browse and clean automatically, clean PC across all users. Um, uh, automatically updates in the background and I'm gonna support with priority. Uh, it's $24.95 or $19.95 right now, but I I would recommend getting it. I haven't gotten it yet, but I still really want to get it. It's just that I never come around to actually getting it. So first off, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna clean the computer. Now here's the thing: I have saved passwords and stuff, so I kind of don't really want to lose them. But to be in my safe, to be safe, I really really do need to get rid of them because having saved passwords is not a good idea I shouldn't be saving my passwords on my browser I should actually be having them stored in my head not in not in anywhere else uh, auto auto complete form history is uh, auto or saved form information is like uh, I know Google Chrome uh, does this when you um, automatically put in your um, certain things. I don't remember what it is. Um, you can also clean up Windows error reporting. I don't have any errors so I can go to clean them up. DNS cache, font cache, startup menu shortcuts, desktop shortcuts that are um, completely that are no longer in use anymore. You can clean up. Uh, you can also wipe some free free space also which uh, it takes a little longer than normal for it to finish but hey it's good to use. Uh, you can also clean up event logs which event logs if you didn't know um, they kinda use a lot of storage so Let's go ahead and analyze it. So 45 megabytes is what I found so far, with which the um, which is majority of it is actually from Google Chrome, which uh, I'm guessing has to do with the saved passwords, which I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of them, and then I'll re-log into everything, I guess. Uh, we run cleaner to finalize. Since we analyze it, we need to finalize it by running the clean cleaner, and there we go. We cleaned. 42 megabytes. Now that might not seem a lot, but if it's your first time doing it or first time cleaning, you'll notice you probably might even have up to 3 gigabytes. Sometimes I've actually had a friend that had up to 10 gigabytes worth of stuff saved up and I was like, how do you even, like, dude, delete it. <laughs> so registry is a little bit different. Registry has all these, like, bad registry files that need to be removed and need to be fixed and they'll tell you exactly what needs to be done in order to fix it. So as you can see, ActiveXCOM, invalid file classes, there's a whole bunch, it's a bunch of different problems that this cleaner can also fix and I'll do it automatically. Um, you can also back, back it up just in case something happens. So if you want to, you can back it up. I'm not going to because I don't really care. And then I can just reset the computer anyways. And then we're going to go into tools. Now tools, this is a really this is a really cool part. Uninstall. This can 100% delete a software. Like, you know Iobit uninstaller? This is basically what it is. This is what it can do. So I'm going to look for a program that I do not want. Hmm, let's see. There's a lot of programs in here. I got a lot of crap. Man, that's hard. Let's uh let's delete Elder Scrolls Online. That's a good example. Let's go and click on install. Okay. Next. Next. Okay, almost done. Other categories done. And if it doesn't delete itself off this list, uh, it will force it to be deleted off the list. Now we also got a startup manager. Now this um, monitors and makes it so that certain things do not start up. You can also just use task manager if you want to. You kind of don't really need it. But I also got some really... Okay, that's AMD DVR. Not too sure why that loads. Prior form, CC cleaner, that's no Discord, update checker. Tell me I don't get on Discord, I get on it all the time. Also delete it, delete the entry too if you wanted to. Windows Defender, you gotta delete disable that. 
We can also go to browser plugins. So if there's any bad plugins within the browser, we can go ahead and get rid of them. No, that's not supposed to be in there, so we can go ahead and delete that. Mm -hmm. and that's really about it. So I'm actually showing you as I'm cleaning off my computer what what it is. Disk analyzer. Obviously scans your computer. I'm not gonna actually gonna go through it. This is this is too much. Duplication finder, um mainly just duplicated files that need to be getting rid of. Like it'll also um rule out your system files so that you don't because you don't you don't want to go in your system files and do that because you might end up deleting something that's bad or that's actually supposed to be there. Um there's also system restore. Um that's uh whether or not if you want to restore it back to a previous state, which is um, when I installed DirectX 1 slash 8 slash 2017 is when they made a um, system restore point. And there's another one on the 10th, but it doesn't look like it's as if I can use it. There's also a drive wiper, which basically, if you don't know what this is, um, this allows you to completely erase the contents inside a hard drive. So if you get a hard drive, this will completely erase the completely erase it but it doesn't fully erase it because um, the only thing that can fully erase something like that is if um, yeah you have to use something else to do that this allows you to see your cookies for different websites and stuff and manage them um, also book uh, what was it um, bookmark certain ones too so it's to not delete certain ones um, you can some of these features also in the settings are pro only so you won't be able to use them unless you have pro and uh, obviously within uh, system monitoring, uh, browser monitoring and stuff that needs to be, um, you need to have Pro in order to have. If you already have it, you can register there. Um, there's also different users, uh, advanced settings, and obviously about. That's it on how to use CC Cleaner. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.